my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Melanie Kate Love, and today we're going to be talking about toxic relationships and the number one reason why you keep attracting them. So let's just cut to the chase right now. <laughs> you keep attracting these relationships into your life because you are a vibrational match to them. If you truly knew how to love yourself and you make yourself like literally making yourself a priority every single day, you would have started attracting that relationship into your life, not only romantic, but platonic as well. You would notice that your vibration would shift. You would then start finding these people becoming magnetically drawn to you. It's absolutely incredible. And it took me a really long time to figure all that shit out. I am someone who suffered from emotional and physical abuse as a child, which then manifested into a four year emotionally abusive relationship. That relationship changed everything for me. It broke me down. I didn't even feel that I had a soul anymore. I was just surviving. And if any of you have been in those situations, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It gets really, really bad before it gets really good after you leave it. And yeah, and I didn't realize that that relationship was a vibrational match to me because of the relationships that were mirrored to me in my childhood. And when I saw the dynamics of my parents, you know, you just, you are your environment. You know, that's why I talk about so much in my training, how to heal your emotional pain within eight weeks, why the first seven years of your life is so important. It's incredible because it's like the child's brain is in the state of theta. Theta is basically hypnosis. That's why children can have these wild imagination and play for hours with, you know, just like a cereal box, you know? So when the children are in that state, their brain is more susceptible to what's going around them. That then infiltrates their body. Because it's like, you think about the first seven years. First seven years, you start building up different layers. You know, the root chakra, the foundations, the sacral chakra, the pleasure center, solar plexus, plexus, the personal power, heart chakra, truly loving yourself and other people, throat chakra, being able to communicate and speak up for yourself, your third eye chakra, which is your intuition, and your crown chakra is your connection to a higher power. You know, you're, you're starting to develop all of these different energy centers within your body. When you're in a toxic situation, holy flip, you've already blocked the root chakra already because there may have been fear in the house. Fear is the, is the blockage that comes with a root chakra blockage. It's what I teach in my program. Um, and it's so interesting when you go back to childhood. That's why I specialize in childhood trauma, going to the root of the cause of the problem. You know, it's like if you truly knew how to flip and love yourself, there is no way you would allow that shithead or that bitch or whoever you're attracted to into your life. There is no way. You know, you have to keep asking yourself, what would my higher self do in this situation? Because some of you are probably in these situations right now and you're like, oh my God, how the hell can I get out of it? Let me tell you that there is hope for you. You have the power to change. There is no one else that is responsible for you. There is no one in this world that's actually gonna give a shit about you more than you. You know, it's like you have to start acting as if you matter. You have to know that you are worthy. You need to know that you are fabulous. You need to know that you are lovable because you exist. And everything that you have ever possibly ever wanted is literally on its way to you. You have to trust. You have to surrender to the process to set yourself free and take the inspired action where you start acting like you are amazing. That means something as simple as like, you know, drinking water out of a copper vessel. Like this is my new thing that like, it's one of my new self love practices. And when I was up shopping the other day, I saw this, I was like, mm -hmm, I'll take six. Thank you. You know, this makes me feel good. Something as simple as drinking out of a cup that sparks joy, you know, like it's self-love is actually simple. Most of you just complicate it and be like, self-love to me is booking in for a four hour massage on this private island, blah, 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 blah. If that is a, a vibrational match to you and it's financially viable for you to do it, flip and do it as often as you can. If it's not, start simple. You know, it's it has to be part of your routine. Okay, so now that we've spoken that you are a vibrational match to this toxic relationship that you were in, I'm hoping that you're not. 
because that just gets messy and I just feel for you. So sending you so much love and healing if you are in that stage and just know that things can get better. Can only get better now. Yeah, it's true. I am living proof that you can go from being in this toxic situation to becoming a vibrational match to the life of your dreams. Okay, let's see what else I've got on my list. Um, oh yeah, I think I've covered it. All right, let's pull a card for you today. I use this um, Lightseer's Tarot deck from Chris Ann. Let's see what guidance we need. If you're new and you're like, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> Woman, I've never seen this before. These are tarot cards and I use it to channel from my angels to see what clarity do you need to know about toxic relationships? All right, let's see what we need to know. One card for my MKL, please. Oh, nope, they have a lot to say today. The first card I saw, ooh, is actually the Three of Pentacles. This is an interesting card because the Three of Pentacles, as you can see, there's three people working together to create a macrame. So we've got teamwork. So it's like if you're in the situation or you're out of the situation, whatever the toxic relationship is that you know, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're in the situation and you have been doing the same thing over and over and over again, and you're not getting any results, you have to ask for help. You know, you have to ask for help. Whether that is just telling somebody what's going on or how you're feeling, that's you booking in with somebody to help you transform your pain into the greatest success story that you, you know it's possible, but you're kind of like, Oh, I don't know how to get there. You have to ask for help. That's what this card is reminding you. Now, this card was separate and there was other cards that came out as well. There's quite a few. <laughs> I just looked at the clock and it said 707. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the six cards, let me just pull the first one. Ooh, the sixth one. Okay, so we've got the chariot. So it's saying once you ask for help, this is what's gonna go down. <laughs> the chariot, which is basically fast moving energy. You ask for help, things are going to start shifting. What else is gonna take place? Oh, the 10 of pentacles. So this is basically getting to the stage where you can share your love and your joy. Oh, you know that song? Do you believe in life after love? I can dance. Mm -hmm. Do you believe? Do you believe in love? So share. Okay. So once you ask for help, the energy is going to start moving quickly. You're going to be able to share your joy or share some type of community feeling. But the Ten of Pentacles is actually kind of like a relief. Not relief. Well, I'm reading it as relief in this one. Like relief that you are on the right part and you're finding your soul tribe. You're finding people to build you up. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Okay, the Two of Swords. This isn't the best one. This Two of Swords basically is a stalemate. It's basically somebody who is stubborn. I'm sure that rings a couple of bells for you. It's someone who's stubborn. So maybe you've now found the right people to help you. You've got the movement and now you're freaking the fudge out. And you're like, oh my God. You know, it's like the fear comes in again. They go straight to the bottom of the emotional guidance scale. Okay, what else have we got? The four of pentacles. So this is like hoarding. So this is like, you're not, it's scaring you and now you're freaking out and you're like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm ready. You kind of get a glimpse of that and the angels are like, hold on, let's see what the next one is. Okay, six of wands. This is a victory, a massive celebration. So it's basically, you're getting to the point the energy is moving, you're asking for help, you're finding the right people to surround yourself with. You know, your vibe attracts your tribe. You are an energetic match to the people around you, not only romantic, but platonic relationships as well. So if you're not finding that you're at, you've got the right people around you, then you need to start acting as if you are a priority. Ask your angels for help and be like, I don't know who's going to help me, but I need you to tell me who's going to help me. You know, you may have people that have crossed over that are trying to send messages to you on a daily basis. Usually if you're freaking out and you're not in the right vibration, they usually come in your dream. So maybe start keeping a dream journal. Okay, what else do we have? The devil. Okay, so there's a lot of fear. Okay, 
which is normal. As you're moving from this toxic relationship and learning to heal and to learn to love yourself and asking for help, it is scary. You know, every single time I jump on a healing breakthrough strategy session with one of my with one of you guys, my beautiful MK Love fam, whenever you jump on those calls, oh my gosh, I can feel the vibration of whoever I'm about to chat to, who's waiting in my virtual meeting room, freaking out going, what the fuck am I doing? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to tell Mel, like she's a complete stranger, but I watch her on YouTube and follow her on Instagram, but she, you know, she's still a stranger, but I can't believe I'm about to tell her my deepest, darkest secrets. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. And the, some, some of you freak out so much that you cancel the call. And I'm like, what? No, you, you went from a freedom lover to a fear junkie. It's like, ah. then I'm like, okay, I surrender to the process. You must not be ready yet. So it's like, and then I heard that song, you try your best, but you don't succeed. It's like, yeah, you have to keep trying. You know, there's no such thing as failure. Everything is a lesson. So, um, <laughs> And then I heard, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to get me down. Oh my God. That's such an old song. Okay. So you're going to be going on such a roller coaster, but you need to figure out what your why is. Why do you never want to be in one of those toxic relationships again? You know, if you add up all the years that you have been suffering, how many years is it? Honestly, like how many years have you been going through all of this pain? You know, what are you prepared to do so you never feel like this again? You have to think about, okay, what did you do in the past seven days to make yourself a priority? What did you do? Did you do anything? Did you do lots of things? Did you fall off the wagon? There's a lot of questions and it's probably a lot of stuff like bubbling up in your chest right now. But I just want to let you know that you are exactly where you need to be. Everything is always working out for you. You were born, the chances of you being born into this life is incredible. The fact that you are here, you are, are, you are literally alive, shows that you deserve to be here. Don't take that away from yourself. You deserve to be here. You are worthy. You are unstoppable. You may not believe it yet and you'll be like, oh, what is this crap? You know, you have to start reprogramming your subconscious mind. That is making sure that your mental health is your number one priority. Doing things that you love. Each morning I journal, I meditate, I pull my tarot cards. What do I call it? Journal tea, tarot and meditation. I just love it. And dance parties, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, if you're watching this, what's the date today? The 5th of February, you would have seen me having a little dance party and that's what I do to raise my vibration. So I'm in alignment. Have a look at the side right now to see where you are on the emotional guidance scale. Have a look. And then I want you to type the number of where you are below right now or how you've been feeling in the past week. What, what number jumps out at you? Don't judge yourself. What number? Type it down below. Okay. Now I want you to tell me where do you want to be? Like in your dream life, where do you want to be? Type it. What number? <laughs> number one, num one to three is just fabulous. One is like love, love, joy, empowerment, freedom, I think, just off the top of my head. But that's like the place you want to be. You can't maintain that all the time. Yes, there's different things that come up, different astrological events that happen. There's you know, lots of things out of your control. But as long as you know how to move back up, and that's what I teach in my program. I teach women through my eight week program, how to move from this level, they're usually at the bottom of the scale, and how to teach them to move all the way up. I give them the strategies, the tools, the system to become an unstoppable force, to break that cycle of abuse in their family so they are not becoming a mirror or a vibrational match to any toxicity in any area of their lives ever again. You know, and it's like, okay, yeah, if you fall off, you may fall into depression. You never know what's going to come up. But as long as you know how to get back up there, you're an unstoppable force for the rest of your life. And that's why I love teaching what I teach in my program. 
Okay, that's where we're at. If you want to know more, just click the link in the description. It's melaniecakelove.com forward slash free training. Watch the training. It's a 20 minute video. Then if you feel like you want to take it further, you can book in for a free 45 minute session with me. And then if we chat and I feel like we're a great match to work together and you're ready and willing to heal, then I can invite you into my coaching program. So what I'm going to do now for you is to help to reprogram your subconscious mind, making sure that your mental health is number one. You know that song, you're my number one. Dun, 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 dun. S Club 7. That, that's just what I heard. <laughs> you are making yourself a number one. Um, okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to you now and say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. For the next five minutes, I'm going to loop this affirmation. So put on your headphones or whatever you need to. I'll have the affirmation on the screen so you can check that out. And I truly hope it helps you. If you listen to this first thing, morning and night, for seven days, then just see where you are on the emotional guidance scale. Okay, that's where we're at. I just want to say thank you again. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you enjoy your power affirmations for the day. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in the process of positive change. Everything is always working out for me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in tune with my emotions. I understand that each emotion is a direct reflection of where I am and where I want to be. I am so happy and grateful now that I stand up for myself. I am strong, courageous and express myself in a powerful way. I am so happy and grateful now that I have released anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. I surrender to the process and set myself free. I am so happy and grateful now that I put in boundaries that protect my body, mind and soul. I understand that this is necessary for my own sanity and allows me to protect my energy. I am so happy and grateful now that I listen and follow my intuition. Life continues to improve for me and I love knowing that I am divinely protected. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open-minded to all the infinite possibilities of the universe. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in the process of positive change. Everything is always working out for me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in tune with my emotions. I understand that each emotion is a direct reflection of where I am and where I want to be. I am so happy and grateful now that I stand up for myself. I am strong, courageous and express myself in a powerful way. I am so happy and grateful now that I have released anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. I surrender to the process and set myself free. I am so happy and grateful now that I put in boundaries that protect my body, mind and soul. I understand that this is necessary for my own sanity and allows me to protect my energy. I am so happy and grateful now that I listen and follow my intuition. Life continues to improve for me and I love knowing that I am divinely protected. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open-minded to all the infinite possibilities of the universe. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in the process of positive change. Everything is always working out for me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in tune with my emotions. I understand that each emotion is a direct reflection of where I am and where I want to be. I am so happy and grateful now that I stand up for myself. I am strong, courageous and express myself in a powerful way. 
I am so happy and grateful now that I have released anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. I surrender to the process and set myself free. I am so happy and grateful now that I put in boundaries that protect my body, mind and soul. I understand that this is necessary for my own sanity and allows me to protect my energy. I am so happy and grateful now that I listen and follow my intuition. Life continues to improve for me and I love knowing that I am divinely protected. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open-minded to all the infinite possibilities of the universe. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in the process of positive change. Everything is always working out for me. I am so happy and grateful now that I am in tune with my emotions. I understand that each emotion is a direct reflection of where I am and where I want to be. I am so happy and grateful now that I stand up for myself. I am strong, courageous and express myself in a powerful way. I am so happy and grateful now that I have released anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. I surrender to the process and set myself free. I am so happy and grateful now that I put in boundaries that protect my body, mind and soul. I understand that this is necessary for my own sanity and allows me to protect my energy. I am so happy and grateful now that I listen and follow my intuition. Life continues to improve for me and I love knowing that I am divinely protected. I am so happy and grateful now that I am open-minded to all the infinite possibilities of the universe. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. All is well.